I know we were expecting some new developments this weekend, but some of them have failed quality control. Make sure you indicate what you'd like redeveloped by the workstation. Oh dear. You have all this stuff, and you still fail quality control. Go on then. What, uh, what failed? Oh, at least it was the arrow that failed. We got the power. Lovely. It's gonna be a dry race as well in the uh, in the Republic. So uh, yes, welcome to Azerbaijan. Uh, we should get uh, the team goal contract this weekend. Just gotta complete two of the practice programs for another 600 resource points, which will be put uh, to good use. So I assure you. What can, what can we do with them 600 resource points? I'm already spent. We can get them two in one go. So we'll develop the aero up as well. So that's uh, something. I may look at getting a chassis upgrade, you know. I think it's about that time for a chassis upgrade. It's also about time to big up the chassis, boys. Because uh, everything looks a bit expensive over here. But here's, here's our aero power. Look at that. We're not, we should now breeze past Mercedes. Yeah. Look at that. Did you ever think a Toro Rosso Honda would be faster than both Ferraris and both Mercedes in one go? It's incredible. Oh, dear me. Let's go look at the points. That's not the points. That's the points. So we are uh, top of the championship. Uh, ahead of Sergio Perez, uh, Charles Leclerc, Lance Stroll for Williams, then Lewis Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo, Sergei Sorokin, Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Valtteri Bottas round out your top 10. And still yet to score in the season, Kevin Magnussen and Roman Grosjean, so both horses are uh, score a goose egg. My boy Pierre Gasly, he's uh, got a goose egg. Kimi Raikkonen's got a goose egg uh, as well. That's a shocker, mind you, he's had two DNFs, I think, this season. We'll have a look at that in uh, a second. So uh, Hulkenberg and Sainz also uh, draw a goose egg. Let's have a look at Raikkonen. Where is he? There he is. Oh no, he got a 12th and then two DNS. One in Bahrain and one in China. That's uh, that's not good championship form. In fact, I think he's the only driver who's DNF'd this race, uh, this we uh, championship so far. Everyone else is uh, not DNF'd, which is a shocker. So around these uh, streets we are going to get practiced uh, then we're going to qualify and we will see you all for the race good afternoon and welcome to Baku this was the arena if you think back to 2017 of one of the most eventful races of modern history with controversy behind the safety car last second overtakes and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll so let's find out what lies in store for us this year it's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Baku City Circuit then, an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Williams. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. There are a few downcast looks within the team this weekend. I think they've been hit fairly hard by the new regs, but this is only the first step down a long road of development, and even if they don't maximise their points today, there are plenty more up for grabs this season. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and it's Lance Stroll in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, and Ocon, Ricardo, Sirotkin, Poole, and Valtteri Bottas, Alonso, Holkenberg, Kevin Magnussen, and Grosjean, Sainz, Verstappen, Stoffel van Dorn, and Marcus Ericsson, Raikkonen, and Pierre Gasly rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Well, that's certainly going to be the plan. Well, that's going to be the intended plan anyway, but P9 um, was a pro probably about as best as this Honda was going to give us because we qu dominated practice, but in qualifying, we were just, we were just done for. Um, one stop uh, race for everyone today 
uh, lap four laps on the ultra soft tyres then move on to the soft tyre for the rest of the race uh, but we, we do do well at uh, Baku it's uh, it's certainly one of our uh, better races uh, for us so let's uh, let's get out there and let's see what uh, what we can bring home shall we and uh, hopefully it's uh, it's going to be a good finish as we get the five red lights in the Baku we're, we're off and underway and uh, there you can see us, we're diving right to the inside of the corner. You want to be uh, right there as we go down the inside of uh, Sergei Sorokin and Daniel Ricciardo. That's uh, messed a pair of them up. Uh, no end. So we've moved up into uh, into seventh already. And we're right on the back end of Sebastian Bell down uh, the long back straight into turn three. And we're going to have another look at, uh, at the Ferrari. I think we are coming through thank you very much but uh Vettel's gonna stay there is he gonna give the corner up he or oh, side by side with the ferrari and he's gonna get the corner up finally fought uh, discretion with the better part of valor in turn five didn't want uh, any of that as we start our pursuit of the front cars as we go back to uh who is this this is uh my man gasly with stoffel van dorn you got to uh, grosjean and verstappen uh, in close uh, that is not uh, Verstappen actually that's uh, that looks like one of the Renaults Nico Hulkenberg I assume and uh, Van Dorn's got past uh, Gasly into turn 7 so move here, him up a place as we uh, head down this uh, well you say long back straight but it's got uh, two kinks in it but heads into another big big breaking zone as we go clunk over the curb of turn 7 sorry 6 15 now into turn no, that was turn 16. This is turn 17, turn 18 is that there. And then you got turn 19 and 20. Fling it through this fast chicane. Woohoo. You don't want to be uh, there as we go to Roman Grosjean. He's got uh, Max Verstappen right behind. So that's actually Magnussen at the back of the field. But uh, here we go. This is the what you got with Baku. This long, long straight. DRS is so powerful here. It's uh, it's unbelievable, and that should be Verstappen past Grosjean even without DRS. The Red Bulls uh, certainly go very well around this circuit as uh, we go to who is that? That is uh, Valtteri Bottas with uh, Fernando Alonso. We saw it just out the corner of the screen there. Uh, these two are having an epic battle over one of the minor points uh, positions there as uh, Bottas gets past Alonso, and you've got uh, Ricardo. I think that is right behind him with uh no that is yeah that is ricardo because uh, there is a uh, grosjean and there was a uh, max verstappen <clears throat> as we go into turn seven chasing down esteban ocon uh, so we're p5 at the moment that's uh, that's a pretty decent result but uh, for some reason we just cannot this honda's gonna let us down here as we come out of the castle section uh, oh a bit wide out of the castle section and now down to turn uh, number 16 it, it just seems to be that turn 16 whoa, oh bip, no oh no we've hit the wall we've hit the wall we've damaged our wing that's oh god we better go in now and sort that out that uh, that's going to give us some major problems certainly in this fashion case so I think our engineer is going to call us in we, you see we almost hit the wall at the outside of turn 19 there and we're really wide out turn 20 down this long straight so we're gonna hit a left now and really attack this uh, this pit lane almost into the wall again and now down to 50 kilometers an hour oh dear what on earth did we do that that's a that's a Valtteri Bottas what did we do there so there goes the wing new one getting uh, stuck on there tyres are done so we've got to take these tyres all the way to the end of this race now that's uh, not uh, not an ideal uh, scenario there but uh, well if anyone can this man can because uh, these we seem to be holding on with these tyres now while that was happening uh, we got sorry no this is uh, actually further on on lap 3 we've got Bottas and Alonso fighting here so Bottas uh, look at that side by side down the main straight uh, one of the Red Bulls in close attendance there that's uh, Ricardo, and uh, they're still side by side uh, Bottas and Alonso 
Who's going to get the DRS into, out of turn three? It looks like it's going to be Alonso by a nose. Let's see as they come down here. We've got uh, Dio and Mercedes fight. Yeah, it is, but Alonso. And in fact, they've both got DRS, so they must have had it off uh, the, uh, the Williams in front of them, who's fighting with Hamilton uh, down into turn three. But uh, finally, Bottas gets the, uh, gets the job done as we go to... Uh, now, who is this here? Who is it? This is uh, Sergio Perez. He's uh, chasing down Charles Leclerc. This is this is uh, on the main straight. This is later on with DRS. That's uh, that's a good move. That uh, that looks to be done and dusted. That move. So uh, no, it's not quite done and dusted yet. Leclerc and Perez side by side. Stan Stroll leads this race. Um, head of uh, now it's Perez. It's. Uh, Leclerc with the DRS. Let's see what uh, that uh, Alfa Romeo's got some grub behind him. He's going to go around the outside of turn three. See if he makes that stick into turn four. He's not going to. So uh, move Perez into second place. As we go back to uh, Sergei Sorokin, he's uh, having a fight here with Lewis Hamilton and uh, Valtteri Bottas. Now. So Bottas has really cranked up um, the pressure. It looks like Alonso's uh, been passed by Ricardo as well uh, in the background. We haven't seen that. So uh, let's see what these two Mercedes can do with the uh, Williams here. That's going to be into turn three. Thank you very much. No. Oh, whoa, look at that. We got the Mercedes fighting each other. Has Bottas passed Hamilton? Or is, uh, well, we, we don't know. We'll, uh, we're not going to be able to run away. in this the, uh, engine mode still much exist, longer. Uh, we're about here. to we're, we're just target. Around in, Drop uh, down to mix too soon. Let's, uh, let's keep it like that, uh, shall we? Uh, into the castle section. It's so narrow in that castle section. You you can only go one car wide through that castle section. You go any further cars wide through there, and uh, you're in trouble. But uh, we were chasing down Carlos Sainz as we see. Who is that? Ice Stroll coming in for his pit stop. Uh, looks like Ocon and uh, no, that's Perez and Leclerc are coming in as well. So here, where do we come out in a free chase with these guys? Let's have a look. That's uh, that's one of the Ferraris coming as well. Like Vettel. So uh, it looks like Leclerc. Has Leclerc jumped there? But no, Stroll's uh, still in the race lead. So Stroll leads from. Uh, oh no, was that Leclerc? Did Leclerc jump him? I'd like to see that sour if I can, please. There, as we see Vettel coming out the pit lane. That's that. That's me. Oh, a bit naughty there, Sebastian. So we're going to be side by side with Vettel down the, the back straight. And uh, we have DRS, and that's an easy pass. We've got everything going for us there. Will Vettel have another go into turn three? He's thinking about it, but uh, stay back there, Sebastian. So we've uh, managed to catch up with uh, Vettel. And he was P6, uh, five, I think. But, yeah, the Claire uh, came out in front of us, so... Okay, gap that's, ahead uh, that's is a really five good one. We're P13 seconds. after our rear wing damage. Gap to the leader is five and a half seconds, so uh, we could have actually been at this uh, front of this train room rather very deep into turn seven. And now into turn eight, this castle section. It's such a lovely circuit, is Baku. It's so fast. It's so wide in places and then you got the narrow turn number eight where it can all go wrong for everyone in an instant as we see uh, Esteban Ocon now I think he's gonna be uh, taking this chance to get the pit stop out of the way so that's uh, lap number five coming to be uh, started no this is lap six now uh, for Esteban Ocon so let's see where we come out in relation to Ocon see if because uh, he's uh, he's the one we need to worry about we can come out uh, somewhere around Ocon. There goes Stroll, Perez, Leclerc. <coughs> so Ocon comes out behind them. So we're behind Ocon. Somewhere. That's uh, that's one thing we've got to worry about as we go into turn number two. And uh, it's down this long uh, back straight here as we see that is... Whoa, that's a bit naughty there. Max, Kevin Magnussen and uh, Valtteri Bottas. Bottas coming right across Magnussen. He won't appreciate that, will the young Dane? Can uh, he uh, do something about it into turn three? Yes, he will. 
and uh, that will be uh, Magnuson up a position there. Might get some points today, might uh, young Magnuson. We clog the curb at turn six. That's uh, that's uh, gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt massively as well. Who's me? My throat's uh, starting to play. Uh, there we go. Throat's starting to play up massively there. We don't uh, we don't need that happening as we uh, go through these very fast kinks. We've got to chase down these cars in front, or maybe fifth is the best we can come out with. We're, we're, we're hoping not as we see uh, Lance Stroll here. We said, look, at the, we got to the camera helicopter shot of these two through the fast chicane. You can see the direction change here, but uh, look at Perez. Perez, oh, that's a bit naughty. Into the wall at turn 20, and Perez has got to Stroll. Even before turn what? That was done miles ago. Stroll must have really struggled there as we see oh big lock up from Perez but he'll uh, be in the race lead now with Charles Leclerc well and uh, you can see you can see that this is going to end up as an absolute war between these three uh, and Ocon may get uh, may get interested here as well as oh Perez Perez has blown up that's the race leader he's blown up and oh no no he's taken Stroll with him what on earth has just got on there with this stroll in the middle of the track? What on earth has we what happened there? Jesus Christ, this is a replay from Lance Stroll. So Perez just blows up down into turn three, he goes to the inside, hits the wall and just wallops Perez into the wall. Uh, from the nose of Charles Leclerc now. Just incredible. This is what Leclerc had to drive through. So there goes Perez. Boom. Perez then... Well, that's just idiots. That's just lunacy. Perez is out. Leclerc's into VSC ending. Place. We're going green. Maintain the positive VSC, delta until the green flags. Uh, which ended uh, pretty abruptly as well. A little uh, too abruptly for my liking. But uh, now... We're in third. Can, can you believe we're in third place in this race? The race leader retires and our luck is in. Maybe it is going to be luck that uh, we get the first ever victory for Toro Rosso. Sorry, first ever championship for Toro Rosso. Maybe that happens. Maybe it doesn't happen. Who knows what is going to happen. You want to stay tuned, folks, because this race is going literally all over the place i cannot believe that that actually happened you still see the yellows out for perez as we see alonso uh, he's uh, got one of the oh that was a bit naughty i tell you what that's stroll that stroll's going the way here he's trying to get back to the pits but we've got a fight here between alonso and one of the red bulls i think it's ricardo and uh, we got verstappen in closer uh, quarters as well Oh, big lock-up. That's actually Verstappen in front of him. So, big lock-up for Verstappen. We've got Ricardo behind um, Alonso here. It's a Red Bull sandwich out of turn two. Excuse me. Down towards turn three. There's a nice fight going on behind this as well. I wonder who that is. That's probably uh, going to be Raikkonen and Hamilton. Oh, it's Alonso. There's another, there's another lock-up. And oh, 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 dear me. It is all kicking off after the VSC came in. So let's see what did happen uh, behind it. It is uh, Hamilton and Raikkonen. you got Bottas and uh, Sorokin in front of them. And that is going to be Hamilton past Raikkonen? No, that's Raikkonen past Hamilton. So move uh, Hamilton. But that fight's uh, not done and dusted yet. Going into turn four. And that's uh, still not done and dusted. We may, uh, we may see this go down to the turn eight. I want to see two wide through turn eight. Come on, it's got to happen. Come on. Don't be a party pooper. I think everyone wants to see what happens going through narrow turn eight as Hamilton and... Uh, but no, Raikkonen's going to... Uh, boo. Boo. We always see that happening to that narrow corner there. Oh, as we start to uh, chase down. And uh, Esteban Ocon and Charles Leclerc. So Esteban Ocon and Charles Leclerc is now for the race lead, folks. 
It should have been Stroll and Perez in there. We should have only finished fifth, but somehow we're going to finish third. Don't ask, don't ask me how we're going to finish third. We're just going to finish third. But uh, right on our rear wing, you can see uh, Sebastian Vettel. He's starting to get uh, a little antsy as we go back to the Red Bulls. Of, uh, and this is... Uh, oh, there go, goes Ricardo. He thought about a move, but uh, he swung it around the other way. Thank you very much. That's going to be uh, Ricardo past Verstappen even before the DRS was open. And uh, I would imagine Ricardo's going to get on the back of Alonso pretty quickly there. As, uh, no, oh, actually, no, is that Ricardo Verstappen past Ricardo? Well, we'll never know as we go back to who is this? That's uh, Kevin Magnussen with Sergei Sorokin. And uh, that's Sorokin uh, passing Magnussen into turn two. Will uh, that uh, continue down towards uh, turn number three? Uh, looks like it will do. Thanks to the DRS. Oh, go on, get you some. The Dane right down the inside of turn three. Have you some of that one? And that is Kevin Magnussen into uh, another position. Fantastic racing around the street of Azerbaijan. It never disappoints, but uh, we've still got uh, Sebastian all over our rear wing. Uh, you don't want to be. Uh, it, I cannot stress you how narrow it is going through that corner. It is so narrow through there. You, you even break one millimetre too late, you're in the wall on the outside. Or you uh, turn in a millimetre too early, you're in the wall on the inside. <laughs> Safety car guaranteed if that happens. Uh, but our main uh, focus at the moment, we're going to chase down uh, Charles Leclerc and uh, Esteban Ocon uh, for at least another position on the podium. Let's see if uh, that can happen as we come through turn 18, through turn 19, oh but clunk the curve on the inside of the wall that could have uh, ended in disaster there for us but uh, back to uh, Fernando Alonso he's got Daniel Ricciardo hunting him down now uh, and if he does that uh, Red Bull should be past him with the greatest of ease there he goes down the inside into turn 1 that was done easy but uh, will Verstappen uh, think, about, uh, think about a go Yes, he will, round the outside, but uh, you're going to have to wake up uh, early to get one over Alonso there. Not going to happen. Alonso will keep that position. As uh, Well, that's uh, that's the wrong view there, Mr. Cameron. We wanted uh, another shot there to see where Verstappen is, but here we go. He's, we can see him in the rear mirror there. You can see him down the outside. Will he have a go? Oh, he's going to stay there. He might have the line for turn four. But uh, nope, decides he's going to fall back in line as we go to uh, Stoffel van Dorn with Roman Grosjean this is uh, a little further down the field unfortunately uh, for Stoffel he's not having the success of his uh, elder McLaren compatriot but uh, where is Grosjean Grosjean's going to go to the inside here we uh, we saw the dive there does he, uh, does he make the move stick yes he does so move Grosjean up a position uh, ahead of uh, the young Belgian Stoffel van Dorn um, by the way, three laps of fuel out remaining. Out that's, um, that's us still in the race lead, unfortunately, for everyone else. That's, uh, well, no, we're not in the race lead, sorry, we're in peak three. What are we on about? Two fuel Who to said we were in the race lead just then? That was stupid. Not, not, even, uh, not even I would have got that one uh, wrong. It's actually gone uh, completely wrong there, gone tits up as well. Uh, back to Ricardo and Alonso down this two kilometer long blast down to turn one <coughs> it's going to be uh, another path but this time round the outside actually no is that Verstappen sorry that could be Verstappen I think actually sorry yeah that's Verstappen uh, got that one uh, wrong there so move uh, Verstappen up uh, position but no Alonso comes back round the outside but uh, he's staying with him is uh, Verstappen and uh, down into turn three, it's going to be for the uh, for Alonso. But uh, here he goes. That was the move he was wanting. Actually, no, that's Ricardo. I've got those those for three and thirty for it. Oh, bit of contact there as Ricardo hit the wall. And um, Alonso's going to keep that position, I think, or is Ricardo going to have another go into turn five? They're still side by side. This, this, uh, this is a bit personal here between them two. I think uh, Ricardo got the drive and uh, that'll be a Ricardo a position now. So the Red Bulls are owning everyone there as we go back to that is Kevin Magnussen with Kimi Raikkonen and uh, Valtteri Bottas uh, in attendance. But uh, this looks to be an easy move. 
that's Raikkonen, uh, the works Ferrari team, past the customer Ferrari team. Basically, essentially the Ferrari junior team, and uh, thank you very much. Move uh, Raikkonen up in position over Magnussen. Magnussen will get DRS though, but uh, you got to watch that uh, Finn behind you, Baltery Bottas. One Finn cometh, or will he ever take off away? I think he will try to take off away here, but no. Uh, oh, he's really close. Magnussen was uh, defending hard there. That was a hard defense of uh, that position. I have to come back to myself now through these fast kinks down to turn 15. No, turn, yeah, turn 15. Over the crest of the hill, down uh, the hill dramatically to turn 16. And through turn 17, this uh, kink, which is, isn't really a corner, as uh, we see Esteban Ocon here. And this is going for the race lead. Esteban Ocon on Charles Leclerc. Let's see if, uh, let's see what can happen. He's, uh, he's got some speed as Ocon, will he ever go? He's gonna go for it down the outside. Down the outside into turn one, but I think Leclerc's got him covered. Leclerc does have him covered as well. And uh, it should be pointed out that um, at this uh, time, well, we'll go come to that in a second. We've uh, gone to this helicopter shot of uh, Max Verstappen. Is that Max? No, that's Ricardo and Alonso, sorry. And uh, look at that, Alonso got a hell of a drive out of 19. He's going to take him in turn 20 side by side between the uh, Spaniard and the Aussie. And uh, that is going to be turn one. Yep, go on, it's, oh, that, that is so, so bad. As we see uh, Raikkonen, uh, I think he passed, uh, well, who did he pass there? It looked like he passed a Rockin. Uh, they were having a nice uh, little battle behind uh, there as we go to that battle there. Down the back straight, it is Raikkonen and Sorokin. Let's see uh, how this one uh, turns out, but it looks like Sorokin's going to keep the Elder Finn behind him. And uh, thank you very much as we go uh, back to uh, Fernando Alonso and uh, right Ricardo. Ah, but uh, no, back to me. Now, as I was mentioned earlier, we did get a message through on the radio. Ocon's got a problem, so now, whereas he was chasing for the race lead, he's now fighting to hold on to second place here. But uh, the gap was seven seconds after with two laps to go, so let's see what uh, we can do. Can we chase down Esteban Ocon for second place? If this happens, our luck is really in. We've dropped Vettel. Dropped him like an absolute habit. We've been having messages come through on the radio. Our tyres are in absolute perfect nick. We've looked after them perfectly. As uh, we go back to uh, Fernando Alonso here with Daniel Ricciardo. This fight is still going on. This, uh, it's going to be Alonso now passing Ricciardo again. Let's see if that Renault can pass the other Renault. Well, it's actually an Infinity, but uh, they're a customer of Renault. It's going to be Alonso. That is done in turn one. Thank you very much. Will Ricciardo stay there? No, he won't. Uh, he's got to watch out from behind now. Sergei Sorokin is coming, and he's coming pretty quickly, I would say. See if the, the young Russian can get past the experienced Aussie. It's going to be down into turn three if it happens, but looks like he's not got any room. It's like, in fact, it looks like a lot. Ricardo's going to have a go at Alonso, but uh, keep him into turn three. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you later as we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Go back to Ma Kevin Magnussen. He's got Stoffel Van Dorn and Stan Stroll behind him. Star Stroll's uh, on a fight back now from uh, from his position. And, uh, oh, that's going to be free. That is free wide into the first corner. Where's this action been all race? Who's going to come out on top of that? They're, they're, they're all over the place. In fact, I think Van Dorn got knocked out and Stroll's taken the bear of them. What on earth is going on? Why is this only happening now? Uh, could you not have done free wide earlier in the in the race? That would have been so much appreciated. But uh, nope, that's going to be Magnussen up there. Now, here we go. Look at how close we are to Esteban Ocon through these fast kinks. This is the last lap of the race. Charles Leclerc is going to win the race. Whatever Ocon's problem is, it's really slowed him down. Let's see how close we can get to him. We want to get really close so we can get DRS and then drag him to the line. It's got to be under a second now. As uh, we come through turn 18. Now through turn 19. Turn 19, the big slide! Oh, that could... That slide's going to cost us... That slide's going to cost us a few temps. And it looks like we have to settle for third place. We do have the DRS and we're gaining massively. 
but uh, he's going to hold on for second and will take third in the great Azerbaijan drive, Grand Great drive. Prix. We're really happy with that performance. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Sauber. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I'd, I'd say it's just raw pace, plain and simple. I mean, we could sit here and talk about strategy all day, the overtaking, looking after the tyres, but at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed over everyone else, and that's exactly what they had today. Looks like they're on their way out to the podium now, and what a result this is, and what a popular one with the crowd as well. Great stuff to see the Sauber team on top here today. And after this round of the World Championship, Here's how things look in the driver's table. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Well, after a drive like that, it's got to be Max Verstappen, hasn't it? Very clean, very smooth. He can be really pleased with that one. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improved their position in the championship. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. Uh, so, another victory for Charles Leclerc. That's two of the season for him. Um, Esteban Ocon just holding on then for uh, second place. Uh, ahead of us by 0.3 of a second. It was that close. Uh, Vettel, Verstappen, driver of the day from 16th up to 5th. Ricardo, uh, sorry, Alonso uh, up to 6th. 7th for Ricardo. 8th for Sorokin. 9th for Kimi Raikkonen. And 10th for Kevin Magnussen. And uh, it looks like uh, both Mercedes have uh, failed to score uh, here. Which, uh, which is a bit of a shock. Uh, my man Gasly. P13 from the man Gasly. Let's uh, let's give Gasly some props from uh, last on the grid. But uh, a bit further down, there's Stroll and his recovery driver. Look at that DNF for Sergio Perez, who took Stroll with him. If only Stroll hadn't have hit Perez, what could have happened? We might never ever know. So I think uh, I think uh, yeah, let's go see uh, let's go see Claire. Amazing performance out there. You must be really happy. Obviously, we're ecstatic. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? Oh, well, we didn't gain that many positions. Uh, we only gained about six uh, in the end. So let's have a think about this. Uh, oh, we got to, yeah, it's got to be the chassis department, hasn't it? Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. Yeah, we had a pretty decent strategy if we didn't have uh, the nose uh, out of joint. So we, we'll just go for the sportsman You're answer there all expectations what's your secret there is no secret i'm the best in the world do you think you were lucky not to end your race i think uh, this has got to be a no comment answer there appreciate your time appreciate your time uh, i'm sure you appreciate it all the time claire Appreciate it too much, if you ask me, uh, Pierre. You might want to uh, you might want to sit back because uh, uh, I think it's Spain. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be owned, owned like a good one. Now we should get uh, a few more resource points because we did the uh, objective, and uh, also we should go for uh, its contract negotiation. There's the uh, 600 team goal. We've got a lot of points to play with. Thank you very much. Yes, please. That should put us in a strong uh, position for the contract negotiation. That's uh, a so, great uh, result. You did really well. I don't think we can have any complaints with that performance. 
My man Gasly saw something hilarious there. So let's start this negotiation. I think we're going to stick around the same contract that we had last time. Just um, just increase the qualifying and uh, the race position. So stick everything on level three. Thank you very much. And uh, what's the furthest we can go to? I think it's uh, 15th. Yeah, 15th. Well, uh, we've talked over Claire a bit there. So uh, we apologise, Claire. But 15th, uh, 15th, level three everything. Let's uh, see what happens when we negotiate that contract. All oh, right. we, we had plenty of time to spare. All that's left is that's uh, that's what board. happened there. You'll be on this new deal from the next race weekend. So uh, that's our new contract. So now can we go spend some resource points? I'd like to spend some resource points if you don't mind there, sir. Let's see. So we're going to get another chassis upgrade. I think uh, that is the only right thing to do. Get... Basically, we're preparing for Monaco here. Get all the chassis upgrades we can, so we got a decent chassis and aero package for uh, for Monaco. So we'll get um, just see which uh, which is best here. We can't get any of them. Yeah, they're too expensive. So it's uh, we'll, what we go for. Should we go for that one? Yeah, we'll go for that one. <clears throat> so we're gonna get uh, an aero upgrade, and we're gonna get two chassis upgrades for for the Spanish Grand Prix. Which should lead us nicely onto the um, onto the Monaco Grand Prix. There we go. We've got uh, brakes, energy cells, and the master cylinder. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. So I think that should be uh, that's time to end it then. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, hope you did enjoy this uh, this Grand Prix because it was certainly entertaining in uh, places. There we still uh, top of the championship and uh, we've got uh, Toro Rosso at the top of the championship as well let's uh, see still got four people haven't scored Grosjean, Gasly and the two Renaults who would have predicted that one honestly who would have predicted that one at the end of uh, at the beginning of last season so uh, four podiums as well it certainly is a good place uh, to end this video so uh, I do thank you all for watching I hope you uh, hope you did enjoy the, uh, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and we'll see you um, in the next video when we uh, race around the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia.